Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Unreal Engine Mannequin and giving it some animations with Mixamo. So there's some easy ways to do this, and I'm going to try to explain to you the best way, in my opinion, to get this set up correctly, and that's using my Mixbone mapping tool, which is available for free in the description, and this is essentially it. Here's how it works. So you kind of have an understanding of retargeting if you've done it before. Um, the goal is to take the Unreal Engine Mannequin's skeleton and retarget another skeleton to it. So essentially what that means is the skeleton that we see here is going to move to animations that we download from the Mixamo website. That entails taking bones and converting them to other bones and their locations based on their bone names. So here's our values. You can enter these in manually or you can download this in the description. Uh, and our source assets, the humanoid rig. We're going to get started by just creating a folder. You don't have to create the folder, but I'm going to call this Mixamo just so we can keep organized. This is where we're going to store the Mixamo animations that we download from the site. We're going to go into Mixamo here, and we're going to pick an animation that looks fun. Um, we're going to use the dying animation, and I'm just going to download this as an FBX. And we can import our dying.fbx right here. So a couple options we're going to want to go in. Uh, make sure import animations is turned on. We are not going to be picking a skeleton. We want to generate our own skeleton from Mixamo. That way we can convert it to the mannequin skeleton and not have to worry about generating errors. And once we have this workflow set up, we can pretty much import any animation to the skeleton. All right, we're all set here. We have pretty much everything we want. Our animations are in here. We have the Mixamo mesh. We'll save everything to make sure it's all set up. Then, of course, we're going to want to open up the skeleton. We're going to open that. We'll go into our actual mannequin skeleton, and then we will set up our rigs. So uh, the humanoid rig is what we're using with the mixed bone tool, and the humanoid rig is the default. So the humanoid rig is names. It's a collection of names based on sources and targets. Um, of course, we already saw all of these names listed in our bone mapping tool, and the bone mapping tool is something we're going to have to use when we are working on this. We'll select the humanoid rig, and as you notice, of course, everything says none. You can go into the documentation and find which you actually need to pick, but who wants to go through every single one of these every single time when we have this magical button right here in Unreal Engine? We click load, and our bone mapping tool is what we'll select. It automatically loads these like a preset, and now all we have to do is click save. So the first thing we'll do is go back to Mixamo, right-click on this, we'll retarget this to our mannequin skeleton. Again, if you want to do this backwards, you can do it the other way around. This will just basically mean everything that we've just done will be in reverse. So instead of having the mannequin act out the animations, we'll have this skeleton down here act out the Unreal Engine mannequin animations. Now that we've done our retargeting process, we can go into our dying animation, and we can watch our mannequin act it out. So, first thing you notice is the arms are a little bit messed up. This is because I think they're either 50 or 45 degrees offset. Um, and this offset occurs um, if you look at the difference between the mannequin and the actual Mixamo skeleton. The Mixamo skeleton is a T-pose, whereas this is an A-pose. So obviously the best way we can fix that is to rotate everything back into position. There are also retargeting options you, you can select. Uh, for example, you can go in here and uh, turn on retargeting options, and you can set this to animation if you want to you know, break everything. Our issue occurs within the upper arm bone. We're going to toggle world space instead of local space, and we rotate this. Again, I think it's 45. Um, it might be 50. It's probably 45. Let's set this to 15 degree intervals. And we'll just do 45 degrees. We'll key the first frame, and we'll do the same thing with the other arm. Now, if we load our animation in the world, we should be able to actually get in the game and watch him act it out. So there's our death based on root motion. <laughs> and actually, now that you have this set up, you can grab other animations and do the same thing. We'll go ahead and load Mixamo again and then find another animation that looks good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and use the reaction, I guess, just clicking some random ones. Uh, we'll go ahead and download this as an FBX again. Now we can take our downloaded reaction file.fbx and load this in on our dying skeleton, which is the skeleton that we brought in before. We'll go ahead and import animations, and we can turn off the mesh. We click import. It brings in our animations. And of course, these are technically on the dying skeleton again. We just need to go in here, make sure everything is saved and ready to go, and we'll go ahead and retarget this once again. 
Same thing with the animation here. We have um, our arms are a little bit messed up, so they're 45 degrees off in world space. I'll we'll actually keep this in local space, and all we have to do is rotate it 45 degrees in the Y direction. Go ahead and save. We'll put both of our animations in the world, and we'll watch them act out in action. That is how you bring Mixamo animations into the Unreal Engine and apply them to the mannequin. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.